Hi, this is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite Starbucks seasonal recipe. That would be for their eggnog latte. I love these, but you know what? You can't get eggnog all of the time. You can only get it during, what? About after Halloween till a little after Christmas. So here we go. I'm going to show you how we are going to make the Starbucks eggnog latte. Now I'm using, again, this fabulous find I found on Amazon.com. It is called a mocha pot. I believe it's called a Bialetti mocha pot. This makes espresso. It costs $20. This is probably the only time in my life where I didn't go for the expensive kitchen appliance and I went for the $20 pot. Mine makes three cups of espresso. It is so easy to use. You have espresso in just a couple of moments. So we're using espresso. We are using eggnog and um, I'm using half and half here. You can use a whole milk, skim milk, no fat milk, whatever you like. I just happen to have half and half because that's what I drink in my coffee. You can't add eggnog directly because it will curdle and cook. So we have to cut the eggnog with some half and half. So why don't we go ahead and get started and I'll show you how you can make an espresso in this lovely little um, pot. Now if you don't have an espresso maker, you can use regular coffee. Just make it really strong. I would use about one and a half to two times your normal strength of coffee. And if you happen to have a personal coffee grinder, go ahead and grind it up for espresso grind. That is very, very fine. So that's gonna help the coffee release a lot more flavor. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started with that Starbucks eggnog latte. All right, so I feel like I could be a walking commercial for one of these coffee pots. I'm so amazed that $20 gets you a fabulous little espresso here. Fill the bottom reservoir just below that spout there full of water. You're going to drop in the filter the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add espresso. Now you can see here, the espresso is finely ground, unlike coffee. Coffee is a little bit more coarse. So what actually happens is that the water boils in this bottom reservoir and the steam rises up through the coffee and then it comes through the top portion. And that's how you get a lovely steamed coffee, which is what they call espresso. So these are fabulous little coffee pots, 20 bucks, so easy to do. You're gonna take this, you're gonna put it on your stove top on a low to almost a low medium heat. And there you go, a couple minutes, you're going to have espresso. All right, so now we need to make the latte portion of this. Now I told you before, we need to cut the eggnog with milk because if we don't, we're gonna have, well, kind of an eggnog omelet. And that's really not a holiday favorite, especially not an espresso. So add equal parts of the milk of your choice and eggnog. Now all I'm gonna do is heat this up in my microwave for just about one minute and my milk will be perfectly warmed. This is my milk frother. You just put this in, you pump it a few times and you have fabulous foam milk. You could use a jar with a lid, shake, shake, shake. You could use a blender, just put it on blend. Whatever you need to do, get that milk nice and frothy. Okay, so it's time to assemble the eggnog latte. We're going to add our espresso. I'm kind of a lightweight on the espresso, so I don't add a ton. I add probably about a third of espresso, and then I am going to add in my wonderfully frothed um eggnog and milk here. You can see this frother works wonderfully. You have milk in nice layers here. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for whipped cream. I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in. You can see there's a nice foam on top here. So it's time for a whipped cream because I think that's what makes these so fabulous. And I'm going to go ahead and grate on a little bit of fresh nutmeg. So you can see it's very easy to make your own eggnog latte, just like Starbucks does. So be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Show me a little love on this YouTube channel. 
rate, comment, and subscribe so you can see what's cooking next.